right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Late Nights with All Access. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this one right now. We have right next to me, Miss Nat Boogie. What's up, guys? Miss Nat Boogie. What's up? I ain't shit. Nah, Boogie. <laughs> next to me, we got Soul Child Jordan, so though. Good, so good, so good. And the one and only. And then, so of course, good. you know who that guy is over there, Mel Finest. Welcome back, welcome Mel back. Finest. Welcome yeah, yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, get yeah. Yeah, yeah. let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's like a big surprise because Melvin was like, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. And then, bam. He said, let's show the viewers I'm back. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm man, ready to get it. A quick promo for January 6th, you know, one-year anniversary party. Our one-year so. anniversary is coming up. the plan. As you know, always, man. we appreciate the viewers. Please make sure to like, comment, and share. And also, quick shout-out to our sponsor for tonight, Fuego Margarita Bar, which is still in the same venue of Smoke Barbecue. Shout-out to Adrian. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Yes. Beautiful setup over here. Thank you. Thank you. That's dope. Fuego That's is dope. Right. Though this, I mean, I wish they could see everything on the wall, but this shit yeah. is dope as fuck. It is. Well, now, is how's I everyone's need... weekend? You had a huge weekend, yeah, right? Yeah. It was a crazy, crazy weekend. <laughs> it was my birthday weekend this weekend. Birthday weekend. We had two parties. We had two parties. I had two, one on Saturday and then one on Sunday. So it was just amazing, incredible, incredible. Wait, yeah. when's your actual birthday? It's on Wednesday. It's, it's coming up in about three days. Hump so day, people. Hump week. day. But what are you, you going to do? You know you, you got a party on the weekend, right? <laughs> well, actually, I, I DJ <laughs> that day. I DJ that day. I DJ all day until So seven. let's break it down for the viewers. Special guest, Soul Child Jordan. That's me. Yes, sir. MC. MC. DJ. DJ. Event host. Fashion enthusiast. There you go. I mean, just Fashion music enthusiast. lover in general. That's I mean, I just love entertaining of all aspects. And luckily, being an MC, I mean, you get to do a lot of that as, as far as the different different aspects and roles and things like that. So, and when, when a DJ, I'm not really a DJ DJ. I'm just a, a gentleman's club DJ. Uh, I kind of okay. got roped into it and fell in love with it. And um, you know. I'll just say a strip club DJ, or gentleman's club DJ. You know yeah. what I mean? I, There's I love no DJs. filters here, man. You can say yeah, whatever no, for you sure. want. But no, because I got a, so much it respect for nights. the real like DJs. Like yeah. Boogie's a DJ. I mean, I've worked with almost every single DJ in the city. I mean, talented, talented DJs. And I would never want to be like, yo, I'm, I'm a, DJ a DJ like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I play a little music. You know what I mean? But just, um, I, I consider myself an entertainer, MC host. I think you're a really good MC. Thank you. When, when I heard you, it was in uh, Manifest. And shout out to Alan for putting that together. That was your yeah. first time hearing and him? I, that was my first time hearing him. That was my first time meeting him. A lot him. of people say Remember, that. right? A yeah, he's like, he's like, finally I get to meet you. I was like, yeah. That was the first time we met. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, a lot of people say that. And he, when I heard him speaking, I was like, this guy can speak on the MC. Like, really? So I, I don't just say that just to say that. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people, like, even myself, I've try to you know get on the mic here and there and especially in the nightclubs or events i don't like <laughs> how i sound mm -hmm. so i'm just like, uh, but you just natural yeah i mean it just comes with it i mean believe it or not i started my first gig one of my first gigs in san antonio was at tgi fridays when i bartended there they would do trivia tuesdays and i had a <laughs> monitor nice. and i played music <laughs> from my phone during the break on the spurs games and i asked questions to the bar like uh you know just random trivia and whoever won got a, you know a tab or whatever and, and you know it just went from there you know that's funny i did not know that like a lot of people How long ago a lot of people that? don't i think it was about when i first moved here because i'm not from it i didn't know anybody i moved here with my uncle um who's in the, in the music industry too but he's more on the latin side he manages chris uh, selena's husband so that's more of like the Latin side of it, the Hanna music and things like that. So, you know, I moved here with them and I didn't really know anybody. And so I would go out and, and, and I would see what everybody was doing and how they were doing it. And I remember I even, when Mel was, that was when I think Mel was emceeing at the time. And uh, who else? Uh, Play, and of course. And hold it on the mic. Bro, Play was <laughs> doing it. And I would watch them, yo, and I would be like, I could do that. I know I could do that. I said, I know I could do that. And then one day I had a birthday party and the host didn't come through and uh no it wasn't a birthday party it was an event the host didn't come through and my boy was DJing and uh he was like yo you're gonna host it I was like me I was like I uh even though you know I was I've always thought about it I never thought that yo it was gonna go down like that so I just put it in my hands and it just went from there you know and I took everybody's influence and I just made it into my own 
and that's the best way to do it. Oh yeah, right. Best way. To do it. <laughs> Put it all in as one. And like I said, it, it's a it's a it's a great thing because a lot of people when you hear MC, they think you know you're just a guy that's screaming in the club with the DJ, you know. And it's that it's cool, it's partying, but a lot of other aspects, mm-hmm. being an MC or a master of ceremonies, and, and and that involves you know hosting at a wedding or or a barber battle or a fashion show or or you know. It, up, any sort of more upscale event, it takes different tones, personalities, you know, and, and your master of ceremonies. And if you know how to do all that, then you're a host. You know what I mean? I do that. And that's what I that's what I do. So and just like manifest, I was just like, it's all different things. Then you go to the strip club and it's like total radio, like you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm, do you like when you when you're doing an event? Do you like it to where you kind of script? Or do you like kind of like freestyle and say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go based on my flow, but you still have a guideline of you know exactly wh- who to present and stuff like that. Yeah, no, that's a great that's a great question because somebody actually reached out to me the other day and they were like, how do you not stumble on your words? You know, and it's it's sort of like I've trained my mind to become like I'll think about what I want to say and it kind of says it in my mind first. And if I lose my train of thought, you know, because half the time, especially you know when I'm working at a club and I'm a little. You know, luckily I just don't, I don't stumble. You know what I mean? It just automatically comes it's out. Natural. Yeah, it's, it's all natural. The way I explain it is that you do it as if you're talking to one person or you're talking to your homie, you're talking to whoever, and you'll be, you know what I mean? It comes out okay. naturally. Naturally. <laughs> naturally. Nice. So your weekend, uh, uh, you had your birthday celebration this weekend, and also at Cantina, y'all had a special guest, right? Yeah. How man. was that? Um, well, for one thing, shout out to Toy, man. Toy, too. And I was been putting him for the city for years. I yeah. mean, for years. And when I first met him, you know, same thing. He was like, you know, I kind of reached out to him. And I was like, yo, I'm going to host and da-da-da-da. And you know what I mean? And we kind of just became friends outside of that. And then he would just do events. And I, I've been with him, you know, since Copa, since Bar 23, since yeah. Cantina, when we used to do Tuesdays there. And, you know, every time he would be like, yo, I'm going to bring this artist. What do you think? And, you know, and some some shows I reach out to him and be like, yo, let me host it. Or, yo, I, I want this. Or he'll reach out to me and be like, I need you for this. You know what I mean? So I had told him, he had told me he had London B coming out from Rhythm and Flow. And uh, he wanted me to host it. It just so happened to, because I was just going to do one party, man. Last year we did two. It was crazy. We made a whole movie. <laughs> so this year I was like, yo, I'm just going to be low key. I'm just going to chill, you know, and then it just blew up. So the London Beat thing, he was like, yo, do your party there. And I was like, all right, cool, dope. And then he also was like, yo, I'm kind of not feeling good. I'm going to need you to pick her up on the airport. And I'm like, okay, oh, I'll pick her up. Place. I was like, yeah, I'll pick her up. So I picked her up, and then it just, you know, we clicked like this, and we ended up chilling the whole day and um, going to Cantina, doing the show at night. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's always a good time, you know? It's always a good time working with Mystic. Shout out to Mystic. I think so I've Mystic? worked with almost every DJ <laughs> in the city, pretty much. She seemed like she was cool. Like, her whole vibe, I watched someone's video where she's, I think it was Greg, or it was somebody when she walked into the bar, and she was just, like, lit. Like, she was already on a whole nother level. She was good. Well, I took her to Sugar's. Oh, that's I took why. It okay, that makes before. sense. That's why. That's why. <laughs> I took it as sugars, okay. and we went uh, just a pregame. You know what I mean? Just to show some love, and, and of course, we spent the whole day together. So she was like, "Yo, I want to see where you spend it, um, or play music at." And, and I was like, "Well, let's go." You know? So we went to sugars. We, we threw some money. We, you know, they, of course, they showed lots of love. You know, because that's my house. You know what I mean? And, and oh yeah, he run that shit. I know. No, nah, I mean, well, I, I run the day shit. To a certain I run the day shit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a team, bro. They're, they they just got a very great team there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I saw that last night. I uh, actually watched the uh, rhythm and flow. So yeah. she she uh, was really good. Uh, I like the uh, the other guy, uh, the Hispanic or Puerto Rican. Okay, I know the, you're talking the about one that, uh, the one that he, he was really good at like his words. Um, yeah, I think it was the one that Cardi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it was a good show. I really liked it. I, I think they did overall uh, a great job on it. I think that there's a there was some talent on there that shouldn't have been on there, but I, I mean, think I think San Antonio. I've always been a big fan of San Antonio. A lot of people are like, oh, it's because you don't go out and see other cities, which I have. I've seen some major cities and traveled, but I think that San Antonio just has a lot to offer. It's just that we're not that market yet. And I think that we can be. I mean, of, uh, you know what? What should I say about this? I mean, I'm going to put it like this. I mean, San Antonio is a very, very talented city. But at the same time, 
Bro, there's so much talent to the fact that I think the real talent's a little bit scared because everybody else is just a little... Some people, we all just got to humble ourselves as a city and show each other a lot more love than we do and, and wish a lot more, a lot better for everybody else, you know what I mean? Yes. And work together a lot more. There's so many people that I see that are talented. I'm like, bro, if they came together, that that would be mm -hmm. like fire, you know what I mean? I've seen that before. But I just think a lot, not everyone, but a few people are just, you know, prideful and they, they don't want to work with anybody, then they can do it on their own. And, you know, that's fine. That's great. You, and you probably could, you know, but I It'd just take a little uh, longer process. Yeah. Though. You know, I think uh, the teamwork, of course, if you have the right team, of course. Yeah, but San Antonio is very talented, man, from our DJs, from our singers, from our rappers, from, you know, people that are behind the scenes. I mean, there, there's talent, for sure. Producers, everything. San Antonio has a lot of talent. We talked about it on the podcast a couple of weeks ago, actually. But, I mean, I, and I said the same thing to you, too. I think there was, a, there was a time period where, like, there was a lot of local shit coming out, but people really, weren't really fucking with each other. Like, it was a lot of hating on each other and I think yeah. recently I think a lot more people started coming together mm -hmm. but at the same time you can only do so much with San Antonio because if you know you're as an artist radio is you know that's a big way to get your music out and San Antonio as a radio market isn't one of the top markets so yeah. you kind of got to get there to where you know it's a top market and, and you're, it's going to be more influential to you know you as an artist than what San Antonio can do for you but San Antonio does have a lot of fucking talent. So, and, and you know what's funny is the London girl. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I watched like maybe one episode of mm -hmm. the Rhythm and Flow, I think is what it's called. Uh -huh. um, I only, I heard her, I knew about her because I heard her on Spotify. Oh, really? That's how I knew about oh, her. Oh, you heard her on Spotify? Yeah, I heard her on Spotify. She's yeah, on one of the playlists Spotify. that I People listen sleep to on Spotify. Spotify, Spotify oh, is literally Spotify my is secret life. weapon. I think that's better than club, Apple Music, to be honest with It's my special. I have Apple yeah. Music, so. I, just, I do too. Because I have it. Because some things, some people, some artists are so bougie, they only put it on Apple. Mm -hmm. So that's why I have Apple. But other than that, Spotify is my secret weapon. As a song selection, Spotify, I feel like, does a lot better job. Because I used to have both. If you want to get put on some new music, Spotify is the one. There's different playlists, most necessary. There's get turned. There's all kinds of shit. But that's how me, when I was heavy in the DJ game I haven't been as active right now because I was dealing with music festival stuff for a while but I would actually go through Spotify playlists and be like yo this is hot this is hot this is hot people that you know things that Bro, people weren't yeah, playing in the club yeah. and shit like that so Spotify that's where I heard from her to be honest with you I didn't even see her on Hustle and Flow so that's lit I keep wanting to say Hustle and Flow too like, oh, you wait, just what is it? Rhythm and Flow I'm sorry I can <laughs> so many times even when I'm I doing the combo, multiple I'm like times. yeah and then be from Hustle and Flow Rhythm my bad Rhythm, rhythm and Flow because it went out yeah, that one I was saying it, I was gonna say hustle and flow, but then I was That's like, I'm funny. glad I didn't myself. <laughs> Bro, so when I, pause, yeah. I know I'm not the only one. So. Okay, Usually, Melvin, he funny. always changes words around. Nice. I, know. I watched the show. I you know did? You it. watched all, all episodes? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good What do you think about it? It's good. It, it can be a season. If they may come back with the season two, it would be better. A lot of Are you a big fan of all, all, all the judges? Like, Chance the Rapper? Like, I'm not really a big fan of Chance the Rapper. I mean, T.I., yes, Cardi B, yes, but Chance the Rapper, I mean, Chance, I can... Chance you're you're Rapper, fans of them no, because I don't, I don't a lot of people like, are fans with Cardi. I don't Cardi. think he's like... A lot of people are fans of Cardi and, and T.I. because uh, they I'm have hits. Not. This is what That's what you're on the radio. And not just a lot of people that they listen to the hits, but if you want to listen to the music and listen to the artists, you're listening to people like Chance. You're listening to people like so J. Cole. You're listening to people... I think so. Is he independent? Chance is independent. Right. I mean, if he still is, but I know he made a fucking noise, a lot of noise as an independent artist that a lot of other DJs could not do as an independent artist. But he doesn't write his music, right? Like, I mean, if you, if you, movie, neither does Cardi. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe I, that's a whole nother, you know what I mean? I feel, yeah. to me, if you have, if, I think they write some of their shit. In shame, my opinion, I feel like shame. Cardi was a product and they got her and was like, all right, we're going to make you a star. So. Did you ever watch our Love and Hip Hop? I did. I never so when I, I heard, before Love and Hip Hop, when I used to watch, I used to watch her, Insta yeah. she used to be Instagram. See, that's what I heard. I didn't know about her till Love and Hip Hop. But when I, the, the first episode of Love and Hip Hop, I was like, who the fuck? She was a but stripper. after watching it, but not just a stripper, that, but the that, way that, she that talked posted, she, it was, she was a, But the more I watched dancer, it, I was like, you know what, I like her. That, that posted video. So the she, only reason she, why I heard about Cardi B was because I kept on hearing everyone saying, she's trying to be like Nicki Minaj. So nah, that's what nah, I was nah, like. Nah. And then when I Nikki saw Cardi B, Nikki was way more commercial. I was like, you know what? I was like, she kind of, you know, has that same Nikki's style, pop. but it's not like Mc Nicki Minaj. No. But I mean, I don't know. Everyone. I mean, to kinda, me, if you, you if you, you want my real opinion, I don't think Cardi should have been a judge on that show. Who? If you want my opinion, I don't think Cardi should have been a judge on that show. Why not? Yeah. Because she is 
first of all, she's very fresh. I mean, mm-hmm. which is all, you also want somebody who's a fresh influence, which is why they had, I think it was Quavo or Offset that they had on there. Um, but, bro, we want, I, she's there giving advice, and you would have Tia who would give advice, and then you would have Chance who would give this profound advice, and then you'd have Cardi who'd be like, eh. I, you know, I like what you, you know, he's cute or he's popular or whatever. It's never was really any advice that somebody could take and was mm, like, okay. or that she had was able to have an opinion. T.I. is smart. Bro. T.I. is smart. That's why I season two is going to be better. Yeah. Did y'all see that meme off. where the oh, yeah. guy's saying something, they're trying to ask him about his fucking stream, something being played at the same they time have simultaneously, and the guy's like, don't be talking to me like that using T.I. words. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. Expeditiously. <laughs> yeah. Expeditiously. Yeah, she was fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, funny. T.I. is smart. He uses yeah. big words. So there's going to be a season two? Yeah. They, should put, they should have I'm Megan. They should have Megan a stylist. She's a rapper. She's yo. also she's fresh, though. You can't say shit about Cardi because she's fresh. But Megan's Cardi is not... Fresh t- than but, Megan. bro, but Megan's a rapper. Listen yeah, to I what know, she I said. know we could go on and on with this topic, Sorry. right? We could go, <laughs> right. Bro, we could don't go give me started. Don't give me started. So... Go back to the weekend. You, oh, yeah, you what had, happened you this had, weekend? You had Cantina. <laughs> you had London B there. Yes. Not hustle and flow. Rhythm, rhythm and flow. <laughs> <laughs> and great turnout, I'm assuming. Bless yeah. Gear was there too, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, what else was happening that night? Uh, that was it. We did that. And uh, I mean... To be honest, it was a long day, so I mean, by the time it was two o'clock, you know, we were all pretty much done. And then so. Sunday, did you do the Sunday fun day? Sunday, we did. No, I didn't. I was recovering all day, <laughs> and I got up and I got really early. Met up with some homies. We did. Um, Sugar's got me a party bus. Uh, this dope ass Versace party bus. So shout out to Papa Annie, and it fit like twenty people. And if you watch my snaps, I mean, that's pretty much you know how when Snapchat I'm people on the got party bus, on snap. you know, the real Jordan G on Snapchat, and. Uh, it just it got crazy. So we went to Sugar's. It was a private party. Sugar's was close to the public. We do this every year. So it just so happened to be around my birthday. So do the party there. And uh, for it being a private party, I mean, it was packed. That shit was lit. That shit was packed. Like, I mean, I was I couldn't even walk. And, and I was like, damn, we got a lot of VIPs. You know what I mean? But, and you were there too, right? Mm-hmm. So that was part of your weekend? Yeah, I don't remember Friday. Oh, you know what? Friday, I will give myself. Oh, I got to give myself a shout out. Um, <laughs> no, because I've been working really hard. I was in training for licensing, so I got um, I passed oh, yeah, my license. Oh yeah, congratulations! There you go. I'm yes, so proud I remember of that. I was like literally in school again. It felt like I work, and I haven't been in school in years. So for me to study and like pass my licensing test, it meant a lot to me. So um, I was out with the homies celebrating Friday, um, Saturday. We went downtown. We hit midnight swim. We hit um, Travis Park. We wanted to see like the little ice skating and like the Christmas lights and shit. We hit On the Rocks. Shout out to Justin. They're remodeling On the Rocks. Um, we're actually gonna have Justin on the podcast this week, so you could talk about the new remodel. It opens up again this weekend. Um, but um, yeah, and then we were just hopping around downtown, hit breathe, and then yesterday we did do Sunday Fun Day. Um, me and JT hit fourth quarter for a little bit. Watched the rest of the Cowboys game. Cowboys actually won. Yeah, Cowboys won. Yeah, and they there whooped that ass, Cowboys. so Cowboys yeah. actually won. Um, then we went to Hills, and then we ended up at Sugars, and we was partying <laughs> with uh, Jordan. I know, I hit her on. I saw that she attacked herself, and I said, you know what? That book needs to be at this party. I was because so, I, I kind of thought you would have been there anyway. I mean, she wouldn't have a problem getting. I didn't have an thing. invite. So I was uh, just gonna invite myself. <laughs> I said, "Yo, I, I said, do that sometimes." If you, wanna, if you and your people want to come, you know, y'all are more than welcome. We'll I appreciate that. He list. did. And, he uh, did hit me up. It so. was just a dope turnout. Uh, my girl Liliana, Lily from Black Ink, was out there too, mm-hmm. and um, she's gonna be coming out with her makeup line. She's actually has a palette and eyelashes, and she's doing all that the Malavida. So she has an artist that they put it together, together a whole song from scratch. And I mean, when I heard it, I was just blown. I mean, it, it's a dope song. So she's putting together a commercial, a mini music video for the makeup. It's, it's gonna be coming out soon once they're done filming. We even shot some scenes and sugars. Uh, yes. Oh yeah? <laughs> so I thought, what better idea to have her, perf- have her perform than at the Christmas party, so she- Did you have her, um, Lily partner up with Royal Slay at all? Because Alien Babe performed at Shout the Royal Esme Slay right now. Christmas she's party. Too. Esme's watching, so that's why I bring yeah. it up. Um, Ali- I don't know, you know Esme. I, th- I believe so. I Mystic believe so. Mother, yes. Yeah. You know Esme. She's good people. She has the Royal Slay um, group, and they have, like, crazy, like, 67,000 followers. Like, they lit. Yo. But she does a lot. They do a lot of the makeup stuff. So I you should have Lily it, partner up with them really? to try to promote it because they had Alien Babe um, perform at their event, too, at the pop-up shop. We did a Maluna pop-up at in October. Yeah. I, I had never. There's just, like, that's what I mean. There's, like, this whole underground, you know what I mean? So I think Lily and her had previously met before, and then she hit me up. She's like, yo, we're going to go check out the girl that I did. You know, we got together, and we wrote the song pretty much from scratch, and we're going to go check her out, go see her perform, da 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 
So we went and started performing, and um, you know, I was like, okay. You know, a lot of people just cannot sing. I mean, you know, she can definitely sing. So that was the first time I had seen her, but there was a lot of other artists there that I was like, okay. Like, <laughs> we got a lot of, and you look at their Instagrams and everybody's just been doing mm -hmm. it, you know, the right way. And it's just, I think a lot of people don't know where to go from there. They have the lit video, they have the lit song, they have, you know, I don't think they really know where to go from there. I think some people do, but I think it's like the fact that they're in San Antonio, they keep it a little more low key. Cause That's I mean, true. we know a lot of people, like we had Angel Stein Throne on the show last week and she was Ooh. killing it. And she's over here like, I'm about to go to LA. We got the Davies yeah, Entertainment exactly artists. They're true. making their moves. So I think they're a lot of them are making their moves. I think they're just not being as public about it. Yeah. You I know think what if, I mean? I think, I think also it lacks uh, uh, being able to express yourself or being willing to want to put yourself in, in, in front of the camera you know i mean if i was a singer if i was a talented singer or even if i was a rapper a talented rapper i would start you know going doing covers on every instrumental beat and start doing a freestyle every single day mm -hmm. and i would just you know do it you, you look at youtube channel and that guy that he's a lyft driver or or Uber driver. Uber driver and he's a white guy and he's like can i just he does random freestyles and he lets it like people get all crazy he's like if and he tells them if i suck i'll pay for your lift drive your, your lift you know it'll be on me and then he does it and records it and obviously he's probably recording it and then editing it and getting their approval yeah. to be able to do it but that is stuff that people can do on their own mm -hmm. and get those views so that maybe you know they'll get recognized by someone and says hey let me invest in you and stuff like that and i think these artists here in yeah. san antonio they lack that and they're waiting for that mm -hmm. oh let me just you know get on a label or whatever when they could do being on independent on their own yeah, yeah. you can do your own shit. you can get yourself out there but i think also networking is key and i networking think that's what a key. lot of people don't understand in this city is like they're like, oh, no, nah, San Antonio is whack. I don't want to go out. I don't want to deal with this shit. But at the end of the day, like, San Antonio is really not that whack. Like, if you yeah. know the right people, I, yeah. my ass is out every or, day doing something. Or, I network. Like, or, that's what you got to do. Or what I would have done if I was an artist and I was uh, releasing or launching a, a new album. I would pick three other people that were doing the same thing or had, like, their own singles. And say, hey, you know what? Let's do a, Let's go to each bar and let's have our own like little mini concert and okay. we'll promote it and start picking people get vendors this is all ideals for y'all i should write any notes people i should <laughs> <Take> <laughs> take notes. Notes. I'm, I'm telling you write, <laughs> write notes you know you get people to support hey i'm doing my first you know little santana tour and i'm gonna be having print out you know covers signing taking pictures and you make yourself bigger than what you are mm -hmm. and you get like five ten vendors you say, hey, $50 per, per spot, they're going to bring people free tickets, even if it's free, who cares? Like, you just start building the momentum for yourself, mm. and people start saying, hey, what's this about? Oh, my gosh, they're singing, they're rapping, and all that, and they're yeah. like, who are those people? Let me follow them, and boom, 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 and you just start building the momentum. That's just my personal opinion on what I would um, do. Yeah, there's all, you know? there's all kinds of different ways. Just like how Melvin, it. Melvin, you, you, you go to every single bar, and you're, you know, promoting yourself. Bless right. here. You know, you're not doing the you're not you're not waiting for someone to say hey let me have you under you're going knocking on doors and doing yeah. that so yeah. i went to a point that? where i did it and now i don't have to ask people if i can be a part of their event they ask me yeah see so that's how it goes oh yeah what was your bust? weekend like <laughs> right, i'm weekend. gonna last mine's like that ain't too much it's pretty bad but you know, I can go first. No, I'll go first. No, we already talked about ours. Oh, that's my, cool. My, my weekend, no, my, my oh. weekend, my weekend. Uh, uh, I'm going to announce it right now. I haven't really talked about it uh, too much on my Facebook page. But um, I do a little, uh, little on my Instagram. If you follow me, you'll see, like, backstories and stuff. But we are now going to be officially uh, part of the A Lounge, the newest night yep. club yes. slash lounge in the Stone Oak area. And we're going to be there every Friday night. So if you're a bartender, bar back, um, or a VIP waitress, uh, inbox, uh, message me or text me. Uh, number is 210-677-5289. But we're looking to put a good team in there. I'm going to be handling most of the promotions over there. Uh, my residency is still at hotel on Saturday nights, but on a Friday night, definitely going to be helping them. And I think 
if I'm not mistaken, DJ New York may be the DJ for Friday night. Where is it at? So it's in the Stone Oak area. It's oh, right. Okay. It's the old Salito Lindo. Mm -hmm. oh. So the old Salito Lindo oh. is, oh. is now, oh. it's a beautiful, beautiful venue. I'm telling you, they put a lot of money into it. Uh, Steven, our producer, we're going to be going out there and doing like our overview promo video of there and you're gonna see you're gonna start seeing the uh, club more on social media marketing and the promotion side of things but yeah we're excited we're gonna be open for this coming up Friday and the next Friday but the grand opening is gonna be January 3rd the first Friday of, of January so excited about that so I was there doing that Friday night uh, Saturday was busy uh, my sister my little sister she got uh, she graduated um, oh, that was Sunday. I take that back. I take that back. That was Sunday. I saw the picture. Uh, so Sunday, uh, she graduated and her boyfriend proposed. <gasps> yep. Oh my God, how so, cute is that? Yes, it, it was a congratulations to her on both. Aww. So that that was uh, on Sunday, Saturday. Oh my gosh, why am I going blank? Oh, we uh, shout out to uh, Epic uh, Vascular uh, Company. They uh, invited us to go to their company Christmas party. At the steakhouse so that the I've steakhouse, been wanting to yes. go and to this was, entire time. That was that I really been good. To. So we went out there, had fun, and then uh, called it. And I didn't. I went to Hotel Discotheque. And shout out to Joe Cruz. It was his birthday. Um, him and his uh, wife, Allie, they always hit me up uh, to organize and reserve and, you know, get their uh, sections ready. And I go over and beyond when it comes to VIP concierge services. So I will treat my clients really, really well. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you that. get a tabletop to a section, I will treat you how you need to be treated so that you want to continuously come back. Mm -hmm. uh, so shout out to Joe Cruz, your birthday. Uh, so that was pretty much our weekend right there. But going in, Melvin. No, you had just got done closing a deal. The what? CBD. Oh, the CBD, that would happen today, yeah. So we had a, uh, had a meeting with a a few different uh, a few owners that have a CBD company and so we're right now shook hands so just it's always a good thing when you can shake hands with the owners and we have a marketing company so we're gonna be handling all their marketing and to video content to graphic designs to web development to social media marketing and uh, they asked us to fly us to Chicago to California and Colorado, so it's exciting. Are you, you know? taking me with you? So, <laughs> I like CBD. You like CBD? And I you know actually what? They're, smoke it. They don't. So they're, they're, yeah, like... I don't. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't smoke it, but you know what? I, I know how to promote. I know how to market it. So I, that's the main key there. Sometimes. But you know what? It's gonna be great because of the fact that uh, the guys they're they're really humble, successful individuals. It always surprises me when you meet someone that is let's just say a millionaire and they are just down to earth like For they're sure. not you know flashy or or arrogant For they're sure. just regular people and, and some cargo shorts when, and some... when i'm able to sit in a room <laughs> when i'm able to sit in a room like i was in there today in their office and them just like eyes on me and they're listening and hearing me how what we do and they're like taking notes and they're like, yes, we want this. Yeah. And it was just like crazy because of the fact that you, it's just a humbling uh, experience to mm. go through. That's that for sure. So yeah, so that, that was that was today. So I'm excited about that. Proud man, proud yeah, man. Appreciate it, man, appreciate Great. it. Thanks coming your way, bless yes, you. Yes, sir. You know what I did so today? So yeah, just send us samples, like whatever. What did you do? I know, right? <laughs> I'll Girl, take the samples, whatever you get, samples. whether it's CBD or THC. Yeah, you know, you I will know. definitely, I would definitely <laughs> do I'll that. I'll be the guinea pig, for sure. <laughs> Now, but before this, I do have the shout out Davies Entertainment Cruising Kitchens. Um, they were hosting the Cowboys Dance Hall and Red Bull Christmas Party. Oh yeah. At the Cruising Kitchens, uh, I, we call it their Fantasy Factory, but um, that's literally where I came from. So I just wanted to shout out to them. All the artists were performing. I didn't get to watch them because I had to be here. But shout out to Davies Charles Entertainment. Letting them slide through Midnight Society crash. All you guys. Your weekend? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, my weekend wasn't, I haven't been here in the last two weeks. Uh, my niece passed away last Monday. Uh, her funeral was on Saturday. She's only three years old. She hasn't been able to, she hasn't been able to breathe since she's been, uh, well, she was, since she was born. She's been on a, you know, breathing machine. Her immune system's not as strong as everybody else's. 
Uh, then the week before that, unfortunately, I wasn't here again. People were inboxing me, asking what's going on. I was just dealing with depression. Uh, dealing with depression has been, uh, been messing me up here and there. Uh-huh. It's a battle every day. Not every day is a great day. Um, so people are inboxing me. Yo, Mel, you good? Some people actually, shout out to DJ Mystic. Uh, Mystic said, I'm coming to your house. I was like, uh, you don't know where I live at. And so he said, I don't care if we're drinking, crying, talking. I don't give a damn what we're doing. But I'm going to pull up. And he pulled up. And uh, we had a dope-ass conversation. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, people have asked uh, Melvin with uh, me opening up my story. I've been getting a lot of inbox messages about people and their stories. And what they're going through and me opening it up helped them express their feelings on Facebook and comments or inbox messages. And I've been offered multiple groups to join. And I'm like, oh, I'm not with the kumbaya type stuff. But, I mean, if it helps you out, I'm down to be there. Because at the end of the day, me being there to help you get move forward. It's all cool about with energy, it, you know? Yeah, man. They loved it. They were like, man, like you opening up and talking about it helped me open up and tell my story. Mm-hmm. So I was cool with it and everything like that. Um, I did get asked. My physical therapist is going to be a counselor. Don't know when the hell that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Um, going into the last four or five days has been pretty bad for me as far as dealing with the depression. It's been like, I hate to say it, but I have to say it because it's really what's really been going on. I've been dealing with um, suicidal, uh, suicidal things. I've been dealing with it for the last four or five days. Uh, some days I'm able to beat it. Some days it lasts longer. Like Friday, for example, was definitely a bad day. Um, some of the days I wake up, cold sweats, and sometimes I see like blood on my hands, and I don't know where it's from. But I'm just expressing my story. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Um, but so with that being said, um, I'm here today, you know. But the last four or five days, uh, it's been really bad. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know if I'm gonna wake up in the morning because sometimes I have to take the pills. And take a little bit more than I'm supposed to to numb the pain. You should be doing that, man. Yeah, exactly. Nah, Once again, nah, but I have to express my story and let it be known what's going on because someone else is out there actually cutting their arms and stuff yes. like that from pain. For sure. Man. Yeah. And so I'm just letting y'all know what's been going on with me. So you see me here, and I will be here next week. I'm not gonna like, disappear and I come back because me and Mike <laughs> and Anthony had a dope ass conversation. Uh-huh. Uh, shout out to my mentor WP. Has already asked me about Wednesday, when they go, going to the Bible study thing. He's like, no, I don't care what you say. I'm pulling up on you. So people are not taking no for answers. Like, just, well, yo, yeah. we're coming over. I'm like, we're going over. Because, like, when I tell them, like, there's been thoughts of, like, I know I have three boys and all that stuff. And everybody's like, oh, you okay? You got it. You and got you know, it. It's more you, than that. You know what's impressive is that you're able to say it. Most people that have suicidal thoughts or depression they keep it locked in. yeah you'd be surprised they, they, they don't they don't say it they don't say yeah. hey uh, and, and these are real conversations people so um i do i do want us to take a quick break and then when we get into it if you have questions about it or you know someone that goes or go uh that's going through it comment below uh share your thoughts about it depression do, do you know people that are going through it because it is something that is talked uh, that should be talked about a little bit more on the awareness part But as always, continue to comment and share and like the videos and stay tuned because we're going to go a little bit more into uh, this topic. And then, of course, we're going to finish off uh, on a positive note on something that uh, we all can talk about what's coming up with the weekends and especially our one year anniversary. So don't go anywhere and we'll be right back with you guys.
All this food that I see, man, makes me hungry. Makes me hungry. Have you ever been to Alamo Biscuit Company or uh, or uh, Saritas or Saritas is in uh, medical. I've been to Saritas, mm -hmm. yeah. not uh, the. What do you say? The, the, the animal biscuit? The biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say the donut what? <laughs> I was thinking about I, I know, right? I was thinking about it. I don't even know. I was, like, I was just thinking right now to myself, food, 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 food. And I was just like, man, I could go for some brunch right now. I you know? still want to go to Alamo Biscuit. Every time we <laughs> see the fucking commercial and we talk about it, I, I still want to go. Best, so but yeah. you know what? And, and for those viewers that are uh, still staying with us, we appreciate, appreciate you all. And, you know, we're, right before we went on the break, we were talking about depression. <laughs> Uh, our co-host friend over here, Melvin, is uh, publicly speaking about it because he's going through uh, some pain at this moment, and it's something that is not to be, you know, looked past because you have to go through it, and in order to especially understand your mindset. Now, Melvin, you're publicly going out there and, and talking about it, and I know most people probably like, oh my gosh, can't believe he's doing that. You probably have two different sides of people. Either one, thank you for talking about it. We're here for you. What do you need? Or the other type of person is like, man, I would keep that to myself. I wouldn't say nothing. So how do you go about that right now? Like knowing that that there's always a good and a bad. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's, um, there's been people that inbox me and say you shouldn't be glorifying that you're, uh, you made it day two and there's people... There's been some crazy messages. There's people that really don't want me to survive. There's people that said, yo, hope you die and stuff like that. Um, I've been getting a lot of crazy messages from people. From who? Uh, just people, just random ass people with no picture to their shit. Just like um, fake accounts. Fake accounts. Fake accounts. So there's people that are just hitting me up with stuff. And it's like, while you're seeing that and you're going through things and you're just, things going through your head. But the way I've been coping lately is just going on Facebook Live, man. Uh, going on Facebook Live talking about it. Uh, I try to find my happy place because they say find your happy place yes. when you're going through depression. And that happy place that I saw and was at, that's not even yeah. working anymore. Well, so it's like, yo, you got to go find something else. Yeah. But dealing your with kids the kids, though, right? Yeah, my kids. Think yeah, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to you know, think about your kids yeah. and everything like that. They're like, oh, your kids, uh, you got this, you got this. It's a lot easier said than done. Like, it's a day by day thing. Like, right now, I can be chilling right now, having a great conversation with mm -hmm. you guys. And then tonight, I can literally be crying about, I don't know what, it's happened before. I'm literally yeah. taking the pictures of me eating Wingstop on a Friday night. Yeah, I'm taking pictures. And I sat down, put the, uh, what the hell is I watching? I'm watching, I watched some movie on the fire stick. I don't remember where the hell it was. And that movie just barely started. And I was already crying throughout the whole movie. Yeah. And I didn't even know what the hell I was crying about. <laughs> so yeah. I don't even know where the trigger points are. I don't know where none of the trigger points are. I can't say, oh, uh, I'm sad or crying about that or that or that or that. Mind you, the car accident situation. You don't know what your trigger points are. I don't know. So something like, right, we can have a conversation right now, and something you say to me yeah. trigger me, and I'll just be like, No, bro. I'm you, and I'm gonna be like, Yo, I'm gonna go ahead and walk away. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you definitely, the people that reach out to you, you would be so surprised in the fact that he's saying that you're talking about it. I mean, yeah. we have all. Gone through it, man. I think we all I know gone exactly through it. I don't want to speak for anybody, but have you gone like. through depression? Yeah, man. I, I, I did a whole Facebook post about My, whole, my high school <laughs> was like hell for me. Like, everybody sees where I am now, but bro, I went through it. I mean, you know, and, and it is a day by day thing. You know what I mean? It's a day by day thing, you know, and I've definitely had those thoughts as well. But then I also think on the flip side, you say, God forbid, you know, it happens, you're gone. You're gone today. 10 years from now, life could be completely different. Why would you want to end something in that moment that's going to, you it's will like never be able to take God that back. God has a plan for all of us. So you take he it really with the grain of salt, you, you feel the depression, you feel it. Don't don't push it away. Don't don't not think about it. Let it go and, and feel it. Have that good cry. If you're going to have that good cry, let it all out. You know what I mean? And, and keep, you know what I mean? You got to keep taking that step. Even if you're a walking zombie, even if you're just, if you know, it's one foot in front of the other. You know what I mean? And if people are messaging you on Facebook, you know, Facebook Live is probably not a, a good place for you. You're basically giving them yeah, what, you know what I mean? Yeah, but that, 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 yeah. No. everybody's like, oh, I don't Instagram know. Live. <laughs> no. I, 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 I think, think me and a group. group. Shit, fuck Facebook Live, fuck um, social media. So, yeah, a big shout out to uh, Gina Shots, too, man. We had a dope-ass conversation at Cantina about, shout out to Gina. Uh, about that, and we were talking about that. 
she was like saying a prayer over me and stuff like that at cantina we're at the club talking about that situation and uh, it was dope man it was a dope ass conversation she told me her story that's her business you know i don't put people's other business out there but you know she told me her story and everything like that and uh it was crazy um it's crazy like i said it's a day-by-day thing and you know you know you know when i when i went through depression and this is why i'm saying like you're you're going through it and talking about it which most people don't do that and it's not nothing wrong with it because when when i was going through my depression i had a fake smile i made people believe that i was okay when i was really fucking broken deep down inside yeah. and i wanted to just end everything uh-huh. so then yeah. when i started to rebuild my life i then shared the story after being happier because that's what you had to really f- figure out is how to be happy within yourself. My mom, before she passed away, gave the best advice that I will still take with me. And that is, no matter what you do in life, regardless if it's business or personal, don't lose your happy. She's like, that's all, just don't lose your happy in. And you have to find your happiness within yourself, you know? For sure. And you have to be happy at, at all times. Yeah. Yes, you, you can have bad moments, but those bad moments, you have to snap out of it real quickly and not think that you have bad days because people think that they have bad days like oh my god i have a bad day bad day no it's just a bad moment you have to reset yourself and think something positive and understand that it's gonna go through its course and it's not gonna last forever you know yeah so when i went through my depression like i said i kept it deep down inside i didn't share it with anybody nobody knew and and i think that you're going through it you're able to express it and share it it's going to be a little bit differently because of the fact that you're going to have positive, positive people watching you and giving you some great advice and saying, hey, we're here for you. Yeah. And then like, just like Mystic, he went out there out of his way to go talk to you, you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, WP going out of his way to talking to you, me or someone else. It doesn't matter. It's just that, you know, you got to yeah. just stay blessed like you're, yeah. you're, 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 you're here. Nah, bro. Nah, for I'm sure. I mean, you don't even know. I mean, just me and myself, I'm one of the most self-conscious person. I've met. Even when people are like, you can have your party. I almost didn't want to have a party just because I have the anxiety where like, well, what if nobody comes? Like, That's I'm just, what I feel. I'm what like, yo, what, what if, if nobody, nobody watches our show? Like, I'm yeah. like, I'm, I even messaged last night, I messaged one of my, I messaged somebody and I was like, yo, I'm probably not going to go. They're like, well, I'm just, I'm just not feeling it. Like, I'm just not, I don't know why I'm like this. I just don't, like, I just don't feel like you know myself and i don't want to go and affect out on anybody else or ruin mm-hmm. anybody's night and it's my birthday yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. so we are i mean man man if you if, if, if one thing of advice that you should know is that you're not the only one a lot of people don't want to talk about it because they got a rep to protect or they got this or they got that but man if if, if you know how much people relate to that i mean even me i mean so there's some days where i just don't know why i feel the way i do but it's yeah. just Bro, you just have to. You have to put one foot in front of the other. Even if you're a zombie, you have to. Because you don't know. You could end it right here, and that, that thing that's going to save you is going to be coming that next day. You know what I mean? You just got to focus on All that. I can say is exercise, read, listen to positive, uh, inspirational things, surround yourself with positive people, eliminate all the toxic and negativity, and don't drink. Also, you know, the yeah, drinking um, and the drugs can, I mean, I'm not saying that you do that, but but the drinking can uh, uh, really affect your mind and let you, you know, it's just mess with, up, mess with yeah. you. You know, I mean, like when I was depressed, I, I used to drink and now I'm sober over three years and I'm blessed, dude. Yeah, so I, I would say, you know, do things that are in a positive way. Yeah, <laughs> smoking weed. Yeah. Hey, it helps. Smoke weed. <laughs> it definitely helps. <laughs> or CBD. CBD. Or yeah. CBD. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Get, get some CBD. CBD. Yeah. Cine Awards, man. Cine Awards are coming Cine up. Cine Awards are coming up. So Cine Awards are coming up. So what? what uh, we've been seeing some uh, uh, people. Shout out to Ben. He got up say, to, uh, every people year. People bro, say. Every people year. say like, oh my gosh, is it the friends that are putting it together? Every year. Some people say, hey, you know, uh, why are they doing that? They're not including these and this. Um, I, I was actually one of those people that said, like, why do they, I did say, well, the first time I heard about it, I'm going to be very transparent. Mm-hmm. I was like, aren't they just all friends with each other and, you know, nah, putting it together? No, the first year that I, that I heard about yeah, yeah. it. And and then I, I, I took a, a, a step back and I was like, don't be that guy. You know, yeah. yes, you can make jokes about it, but don't be that guy because you can just be supportive or you can just shut up and say nothing, Yeah. you know? And, and then I started thinking about it. I was like, even if it was for your friends, who gives a fuck? You yeah. know, 
Like, if I put an award show and I, am, and I nominate all my friends, well, damn it, all my friends yeah. are going to win. Yeah, but well, I mean, it, at cares, the end of know? the day, when the, when the voting came out, it, it's really up to you. The, the, you can nominate yourself. You could have somebody else nominate you. And at that point, it's up to you to promote your name. But like, you know what I mean? If you're not nominated, it's pretty much your fault because you can go and nominate yourself. You Did know they what have I mean? That? I was wondering that. Did they so, have that? Because I never saw that And process. at the same time, I don't really think it has anything to do with them because last year, I mean, perfect example, I hosted the Sin Awards and um, me and Ultrasonic are, are like, you know, we're like this, you know what I mean? So we were both in the MC category. So, you know, me being the host, I he actually won last year, the best MC. So, I, you know, I gave it, you know, I had to, you know, uh, do the awards and then announce it and then give him, you know what I mean? And it was not only a humbling and experience. And the winner is not me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not only a humbling experience because El Pasano is my boy, but it's just like, it just will tell you right there. It, has, it doesn't play favorites. It's all about, you know, nominate yourself and it's up to you to get the votes. I think it's great. I, I, I think it's great. I think any type of an award, um, I think it, it just needs to be probably promoted and marketed uh, on a larger scale so that mm -hmm. people can actually see like it's not just these these because i did we did that one day we looked through the the thing and it's a lot of categories yeah you know so it's not I didn't even just look at it all. five but it's like a lot and because then, it's like half serious and half like i mean that's but biggest baller i mean it's like you know it's fun you know what i mean it's, it's <laughs> yeah, the biggest baller i'm just gonna say that right now they're the guys that are in the dominion the white boy, the yeah, yeah, yeah. They, ain't, they ain't on that list <laughs> <laughs> you know but I think they're that. just talking about the people that are like throwing money <laughs> or whatever because they're, you know, people that don't tip two dollars at the bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. So the Sin Awards are coming. Are you hosting or yeah, anything? Hosting. I hosted last year. Yeah. And I'll be hosting this when year. When is it? On the 22nd. And the reason why, you is know, it was supposed to be on the 8th, but I, I just did Rob, uh, I'd Rob the Originals Barber Battle on the 8th. And, um, you know, I was going to do both <laughs> the same day, but, you know, we moved it only because it's only one person doing it. It's not really a group of friends. It's, it's just Jacob. I mean, it's just Jacob and, like, one or two people from Perfect Score that are actually putting the entire thing together. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So um, they moved it to the 22nd, and, uh, yeah, it's going to start pretty early, I believe. Is uh, Bless Gear going to be there? Yes. Uh, I'll be there. I'll be there as a vendor. They hit me up, like, two or three weeks ago and asked me to be it's there. That's a big thing. Yeah, that's a big thing. Uh, Jacob hit me up. He's like, yo, I need you here. Uh, help out and everything like that and i say yeah i'll be so there no jacob problem. is the one that put this together he did it last year yeah i believe yeah. so i believe it's him and maybe one or two or three other people, like three people not including people. Okay. but i mean not only that there's also gonna be the bartender uh competition so oh, it's yeah? gonna be a flaring competition oh, that's we did it last year so that's in between look at Tom. Is that right, there. <laughs> right Tom. literally Why outside oh my <laughs> god <laughs> bro. DJ Tom. Oh, God. Uh, so oh right now, God. again, again yeah. for the viewers, We're right now, crashed. I wish you could see this, but you oh can't. God. So you have uh, DJ Tone and, and his Christmas one. And Look everyone God. Those over here. Is that one hilarious. or two many years? <laughs> it's sponsored. The show again, sponsored by uh, uh, Smoke Barbecue <laughs> with Ash with Frego Margarita Bar, and there's a, a window to my left. <laughs> and they all can see uh, DJ Tone funny. and DJ DJ Vincio. Uh, I don't know who the other guy yeah. was. I just know Tone. So shout out to DJ Tone. He was on the show before, so that was a great time. That's right funny. <laughs> That's <is> funny. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so the Sin Awards. I think Tone's be... DJ in the Sin Awards. Oh, actually. Is he? Yeah, because he oh, nice. we we do a lot of the competitions. Are you gonna be going? Well. I wasn't invited. Why you gotta she wait? She go. crashes everything. Okay, she does. But she just crashes. Do. She's like, yo, she don't even. It doesn't matter. She's invited. And she's in the uh, goal if she wants. She's like, I'm on the guest list. They're like, we I'll don't see. see you don't see it because it's a different guest list. <laughs> but it's I'll a see. flaring competition during. So it'll be the break, the the flaring competition, then the awards, and then you know so on and so forth throughout the night. That's dope. I love this bartending con. Hey, hey, shout out to Ultra. You just tuned in. Oh, I saw him last night. Oh, he, you know he was real low key he last night. He was like, I saw, well, I saw him. I saw his little blonde hair. And then he was just like, Did you like, see his grill? I saw his grill. <laughs> I was like, Who is this I guy? I saw his grill. <laughs> you know what I saw I, your grill. I, I really want to touch on real quick. And I said this during the break is just a, like two minutes. That's it. That's all I want. Two minutes. Eminem and Nick Cannon. Do you uh, think, I think you that's think all they, that needs. Have you listened, did you listen to both diss tracks from Nick Cannon? I did. I didn't listen to the second one. I didn't want to pay no yeah, attention after the first one. I, listen to both. I know who the other artists are, like him and him and the Howard. Well but Char the, Char guys, Char yeah. they're actually battle rappers yeah. from the URL, so I actually know. Yeah, them. but, so, but, but they, the fact that he had to call it is, reinforcements. Yeah, uh, all it is is like free promo for them, so they yeah. get their name mentioned. Bro, like, oh, at the end of the day, the whole diss track, the whole diss track. Do you think Eminem should respond? 
I thought he did already. No, he didn't. Yeah, he so came out with one. one. No, he came that out with one. one. No, there's a fake one. That, that it was, was a fake one. Was, I, was, I heard there were a couple fake ones. A couple. Anybody can sound like Eminem these days. Yeah. But I mean, just listen to the fake one. If you look at the comments, it says, "Yo, this ain't even Eminem. He still killed him." You know what I mean? Like, bro. But at the end of the day, it's two different. I mean, you got. You have Nick Cannon from Wild and Now, and yeah, he's dope. He has his own thing. He's funny going on. And then you have him trying to be serious and take on Eminem. And I mean, yeah, Eminem. At the end of the day, you got 50 Cent. Bro, Eminem's, Eminem's side, dirty so with it. He got some dirty boards. Cent, he's like, bro. So, when you have 50 Cent on your side, he's like, damn, you better chill so what, out. What, so what would you do? I mean, like, or who would you say? Eminem would win? Yeah, of course. Eminem would win? Can you have to Eminem respond? Win? All day. I saw, I saw yeah. a meme that made me laugh so hard. It was uh, Nick Cannon can't even win a battle on his own <laughs> show. Joe, like, what stop. the fuck is he thinking? <laughs> I fucking died. And I, I like, don't want to hate that's on that funny. because I just wish he would do his own thing. Because one of my good friends from my hometown, Keisha, Marquisha, she's from Seguin mm-hmm. too. So shout out to Marquisha. She's on. She's a wild and out girl. Yeah. And she was in a lot of the music videos and stuff. But that's no, no, you know, nothing against Nick Cannon. But bro, just stay in your go, Stay. stay I think doing Nick what Cannon, you're doing. Stay funny. I think Nick Cannon is is a talent individual to where he's doing the broadcasting he's doing the the, the uh, different uh, yeah, the TV shows he he's doing everything I just think on. that that him doing this is a more marketing strategy yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. and marketing because tool. he knows he knows if he had Eminem go on his show that would probably be the biggest most watched episode sure. ever so yeah. literally the day after he came out with the first one, I got an email. So I have a lot of like radio yeah. station okay. stuff emails. And I got an email from one network and it was like Nick Canyon Radio. Nick Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Canyon Radio coming up, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that's what this fool's doing. Like he's trying to promote his, ra- he has his own radio station or some mm-hmm. shit. His own radio show, some shit coming out. But it was yeah. literally like the day or two days after he came out with that first one. I was like, that's Bro, exactly what that is. Everybody's it's supposed to be shit. pushing to But it's stupid. Drink. Stop it. Stop. They just want to be pushing to you and Drake, but I mean, if it's not, it's not even if you're even talking about them, Biggie. right? If you're not even talking about, even not even talking about yeah, them, if your diss is not better than that, yeah. Bro. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that. No more Eminem and and, and, and Nick Cannon. I just had to throw it out there just because of the fact that I was like, I want to know people's <laughs> opinion on it because it really like I, I think people don't really listen to they don't dissect the lyrics that Eminem say. No. Javier said Eminem is a legend. No response needed. Oh yeah, hell yeah. That's that how we have it. Hell yeah. That is true. I agree. And if he does, Same he shit. would murder them and they won't have a career at Bro, all. he's so dirty with it. He just has dirty words. <laughs> like I would be like, bro, he'll be like, I'm on your you know what I mean? On your mama. Like I'll, I'll just, <laughs> <laughs> what you, what's Nick gonna say? You know what I mean, bro? Come on. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> So this weekend, uh, anything big happening for yourself that you're doing this weekend? Uh, this weekend, it, the Cine Awards is going to be this Sunday. So the 22nd okay. is this Sunday. But I mean, my usual gigs, I'm at Sugars during the day. I'm at Sugars. That's my full time. Yeah. Gig. All yeah. Right. Uh, soon, you I'll be at Cantina and Cine Awards Cine? Saturday, Sunday. All right. Hey, you? Um, probably. Where the party's at? Yeah, I'll, wherever. Where the party at? Where I'll probably be doing at? some fucking last minute Christmas shopping because Christmas is next Ooh, week Christmas. already. That is like, true. what the fuck? Ooh, we need to go Christmas Good shopping. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Them Amazon. Moms are Amazon. Brutal. Right. Amazon. Right. Is Amazon is like Amazon. Amazon. I had to go for to get something for my gig on Friday, and I'm like, yo, why is it so fucking packed? I'm like, oh, it's Christmas. I can't believe it's next week already. It's Christmas. Like, what? Yeah, that's we have crazy. like two weeks left of the year. That's it. Two more. That's crazy. Yeah. That's it. And what the hell was that? <laughs> hey, that I have, was 2019. I'm on, I know, right? Golly. That shit went by quick. I am on vacay next week. I only work on Monday. I'm pretty excited about that. So I got some time I'm excited off. because it's Thursday. We're all going for... This Thursday we are? This Thursday. Oh, we're going shit. To Crypto, There's a basketball game I need to watch. Company Christmas dinner party. Can we watch the basketball yeah, we can game go, while yeah. we're doing that? Mm-hmm. It's a big we can. game. Yeah, we can. Cool. Definitely. So I'm excited for that. Friday night, we're going to be... Uh, uh, it's like a soft opening type thing. It's not going to be too much big promotions, but anybody that uh, wants to come, go to A Lounge, and uh, we'll, we'll take care of you. You'll be able to get a sneak peek of the uh, uh, venue. There's a, a downstairs and upstairs, so it's very beautiful. And Saturday, Hotel Discotheque. And Sunday, just family and loved ones. And that's it, really, for myself. But uh, two weeks away from New Year's. That's crazy. So if you haven't made plans for New Year's Eve, we only have a few tables at Hotel Discotheque left. And that's it. We're almost sold out completely. 
But I do have a few of my party buses available. So if anybody that you know that needs a party I bus. I wish I would have knew that. They were so literally, yeah. we were looking for one on Friday, uh, Saturday. So yeah, we have that going mm-hmm. on. So yeah. Right. We need another night out on the party bus. Yeah, we that do. Show was we, need, fun. we all need to go out, show some love and support all around the city, uh, different bars, different lounges. Again, if you're a, a club owner, a bar owner, a lounge owner, if you're a DJ, if you're a promoter, it does not matter to me if you're a promoter with whatever promotion team you, you're at. We will go show some love and uh, show some love and support where you're at. You know, that's what it's about. If you want to be on the show, let us know if you want to advertise and you want to get your your business on the show during our commercial breaks. All you have to do is call or text the number below. Wait for our producer to get ready. It's 210-677-5289 or inbox message us and we'll go ahead and give you the details too as well. Slide in those DMs. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I do want to shout out to Laura real quick. She said her son's birthday is on Christmas Eve, so Shout out to her son. It's a lot of people watching. Are we watching, still gonna though. do a, a show? Watching. We are doing a show next Monday, right? Yes. Okay, cool. I don't so know. We're the finishing two more stuff. shows. Episode forty-six. Mm-hmm. Remember this, people. We we love you all. One year anniversary is the first Monday, January sixth, inside of Breathe Lounge. It's gonna be the first time two hour show, and there's gonna be more details to be shown uh, or shared. And it's gonna be the first time we're doing a live audience. So oh, for we're, real? we're Re, no, re, oh, you'll dope. be there. Yeah, you'll be there. So oh, we're inviting all of our special guests to come back Ooh. and kind of like a reunion. And it's going to be a very great setup. Uh, shout out to K Rock. Love you, man. K Rock. Uh, great guy. K Rock's uh, dope. Breathe Lounge. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's our one year anniversary. So 46 episode tonight with you. And two more. So we'll end off with 48. Out of uh-huh. 52 weeks in a, in a year, we did 48 episodes. That is a huge accomplishment. That's incredible. And we're going to talk about that all the time because. It's about what we're doing is trying to show San Antonio more love throughout the city. So I am excited for that one year anniversary. It's sure. going to be There's a lot of people watching. I didn't know uh, there was a lot of people watching. Yeah, give you a shout out real quick. Before we, yeah, give out your shout out to everybody all that. who's watching. Shout out to Randy, my barber. He's watching. Let's see who else is watching. Brandon, my boy uh, from San Marcos, New Braunfels. Lisa's watching. Albert Cortez from Sugars, Mystic. I mean, my girl Honey, Richie Rich. Shout out to Richie Rich. Johnny Bibbs. He's one of the security guards. His, uh, <laughs> ultrasonic, bro. Javi. There's a lot of people. A lot of love. A lot of love. A lot of love tonight. Um, so, social media? Before social media. Y'all can follow me. It gets a little crazy. So, I recommend 18 and up. But my, my Snapchat <laughs> is at the real Jordan G on Snapchat. Uh, my Instagram is at Child of Soul. Um, and uh, of course, my Facebook, and, and that's really it. I need to get into more Twitter and Instagram. I need I to get off the Twitter Facebook and forever. Snap. But Twitter and Instagram, especially for artists, write this down is is where to go. Mm. You're not gonna yeah. get anywhere on Facebook. You're not gonna get anywhere on, on Snap. You know what I mean? Unless you know somebody. But Instagram and Twitter hashtags are your friend, and that's I need to follow my own advice and do it like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, no? but yeah, follow me. Uh, shit. Uh, Melvin Johnson on Facebook, Blessing yeah. More on Instagram, and then Mel Finest on Instagram, www.blessgearstore.com, and Blessed on Facebook, Mel Finest on Facebook. God damn, I got a lot of shit. Yeah, bro. Uh, I'm done. I, that's it. That's it. I, I'm done. That's <laughs> I got just like remember, three more. Anytime you feel the type of way, just look, in the, look at your shirt. The, like, Yo, the, I'm blessed. The, <laughs> the business side, it's uh, All Access MA for Facebook and Instagram, personal at uh, official MikeAnthony.Torres and I am Natalie Charlene on Facebook and at Buggy spelled N-A-T-B-O-O-G-I Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter of course we want to thank you so much Soul Child Jordan for Yo, being on the show tonight I've been thank to you do for this being for here we appreciate it we will definitely have you back I'm glad to have Mel Finest back of course thank you for being here oh, yeah. of course Mike Anthony and myself Nat Boogie guys thank you so much for tuning in tonight it is Late Nights with All Access and we will see you next Monday at 10.30 y'all have a good night peace Ha, ha, ha.